Sam really was an outlaw of sensibility. He did not feel comfortable in civilized company. And uh, the only way he seemed to be able to make a film was that if he got himself in such dire straits, he was forced back to work. I mean, a lot has been written about uh, you know, the poetry of violence and how he was able to take very violent stuff and, and personalize it in, in, a, in a very sad and, uh, way and, and beautiful way. Um, it just it moves me a lot. To, I mean, one of the things I like about Wild Bunch, which I think is a great film, is Peck and Paul doesn't shy away. You know, he says, here are some people. They're, they're killers, they're psychopaths, they're uh, chauvinists, uh, they're misogynists, and uh, they're fascists, but God help me, I love them so and I'm gonna make a movie about them. And he can simultaneously convey his love for these people without trying to make them look better than they are. And uh, you know, there's a complex morality there that it's, it's kind of exciting. Packer Paul's artistic struggle is like the struggle of, of a drunk pulling himself off the barroom floor. Until he fully got prone on the floor, he really wasn't able to pull himself back up. So uh, his greatest work really comes from the notion of, you know, you thought I was out but here I come back. I, I think Packenball is a great American director.